what's going on you guys back at it with another video we are getting loaded right now and they're kind of taking forever but other than that it's been going good still liking it i plan on probably staying here for a good solid minute if not for a while um I get people like asking me like, why are you staying there? You got eight years of experience and whatever. But it's like, you gotta remember, I've been off for a year and I make good money. I make good money. It's what I need to make. And I like dispatch, I like operations, I like how everybody is. And I, I can't complain, I can't. So, um, we will be moving here in a couple months, though, out to Reno. We will be going back home. I'm looking forward to that. It's been five years, about five years since I moved, since I lived in, uh, since I lived in Reno. So it's been about five years, and kind of miss home so the nice thing about trucking we can live anywhere we want we can still work with the same company that we want um, I talked to operations to my my dispatcher they all said hey it's cool you, can, you know so hopefully so I'm hoping so I'm hoping to have my truck shipped out next month and then I'll be home sometime in October then November and December and all that stuff so um, yeah other than that it's been going good had to run home real quick take care of some things in Michigan and um, yeah so we're back up here we're in good old Illinois and miles are still good miles are actually picking up a little bit um, I do I am probably gonna need to take some time off here maybe the end of the year for about a week or so I gotta get some uh, teeth uh, stuff done to my teeth so that's probably gonna put me out maybe four days I'm hoping it's going to put me out for like two days. I can be back to work in like five or six days. Um, they got to replace a couple teeth, which kind of broke off probably about three. Started to chip off about three years ago. Um, so now that I got health insurance, I got dental, I got everything I need here. And, um, gonna save up the money and we're gonna hopefully not spend a lot of money and get my teeth fixed so that's gonna be need to be done and then just keep on running so been running a lot of morning to late evening deliveries like pickup and deliveries so like I was running some nights for a little bit prefer nights um, so like this when I get this loaded I will I'll probably run until maybe midnight give or take right about midnight and uh, shut down get up at 10 keep on rolling so but yeah last week was uh, 2200 miles the week before that was I think I got a $400 paycheck. Um, time off, training for to be a trainer, and um, which I'll get a video on that. So, which I'm not doing. I did the training, thought about it. I'll get, I'll, I'll go over a whole video on that. Um, so yeah, the week before that, I did like 2,200 miles. Um, this week if I can get this delivered 
if I can get this delivered Sunday, I'm hoping, because it's a drop and hook, so I'm hoping I can drop this on Sunday, then I'm going to have like 3,000 miles for the week. So, miles are picking up, freight's kind of picking up. It is kind of nice. I've been on the East Coast for so long, now I'm slowly going Midwest and uh, West Coast a little bit more, so that's kind of nice on that part. You know, we are 48, we do run the 48. Uh, like I said, freight is a little slow, but it has been picking up. I've been steady, I've been running. I run my clock down, I get a 34 in. That is the other reason why I want to stay here, you know? Operations is great, I love operations. I love my fleet, my team. Um, breakdown, all of them are good, the miles. And it's like, if you don't need to leave a company because you're moving somewhere in the United States that they can get you home, it just might be once a month, I'm all for it. Um, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm staying OTR. I'm not going local. I'm not going regional. I'm not going dedicated. OTR is my thing. And, um, you know, I, I stay out a month. I go home for six days. They're okay with that. And I usually do. So if I run, if I run a month out, I go home on Sunday or Monday, and I come back out Friday or Saturday. So I go home on Sunday, I come back out Saturday. So that's six days. Um, enough time to relax, wind down, break down, do the things I wanna do, and go from there. Um, pay is still good, you know, I'm still getting a good paycheck. And it's all depending on how you run. If you're the type that sleeps in 14, 15 hours a day, you're not going to get a lot of miles per week. You need to be running that whole clock down every single week to where you're making 89 to 8,900 miles to 10,000 miles a month. If you're not doing that, you're not you're still going to make some money, but you're not going to make a lot of money that you want. Um, I'm over here literally running my clock down. My dispatcher is like, why are you taking a 34 over the weekend? And I'm like, I ran out of hours. So, and that's the nice thing is like, they give you the, your 34 and all that stuff. Um, I had a, nag and like get it through night when I work there and they're just like hey you know you need it you need it go for it but um and then you know if there are days where I can run a couple days where I can run and make some money yeah I'll run and make some money but if it's like hey I'm gonna sit for a day I'm gonna take a 34 and um I am still pulling 22 to 2500 miles a week and when I'm OTR, like out for four weeks, the miles pick up a little more because you're not trying to get home to where, oh, I need to be home in two weeks on Friday. Now I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, until Monday. Now you're out 80 hours. That is 80 hours that you could have ran and make money. So also, if pay cutoff is on Sunday, Try to get home on like a Friday or try to get home on a Monday to where you go back out on a Friday or Saturday. So you can still try to get in some miles and have a good paycheck. So that's what I do. If I go home on a, on a weekend, I'm home Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so like you more than likely when I'm out in Reno, when I start going home, Wednesday to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, six days. And that still gives me plenty of time to
to get some miles in. It may not be a great, you know, a big, huge paycheck, but it's still going to be something to where when I go back out, it covers my food, covers my phone bill, it covers my car payment, whatever the case is. Um, so that's how I do it. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you want. But if I'm out five days, if I'm out 30 days, I'm home for five, six days. And uh, I'm usually home on the weekend. So like I said, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. I'll let you know how it still goes. You know, once I transition from getting out of Detroit back to uh, Reno, Nevada. So that would be nice to be back home and uh, probably get another motorcycle. It's been like three, four years since I've had a bike. Yeah, about two, three years since I've had a motorcycle. And only reason why I didn't get one in Michigan is just the roads, the way people drive. And you get that everywhere, but in many of the roads, the potholes, I didn't feel like flipping over on my bike. So, trying to see if I'm loaded yet or done getting loaded um, for that matter. So yeah, you know, going good. I may end up even saving up and possibly going lease purchase and then just buying the truck outright. So I may go that route too. Um, speaking of it, we got a LP guy right over here, but yeah, got any questions let me know you know so far everything's been the same since night swift bought us out and operations have been the same miles have seemed to picked up a little bit um a little bit more so that's nice still eating on the truck still grinding hard but like i said you got any questions feel free to drop a comment down below and you'll see you on the next one.